New at 10, two killers are still missing at the Missouri State Prison. And officials find a note next to a dead inmate's body. Tonight, the shocking words. And the warning to anyone who confronts them. And the concealed carry law. I think that we put on a good case. Both sides talk about what happened today in the courtroom. We've had a lot of sunshine this week, but changes are in the making. Coming up at 10, I'll show you what they will be and what temperatures will feel like this weekend as well. Coming up tonight at 10. Next on News Channel 5 at 10. Week 3 of the grocery store stalemate and Governor Holden steps in to try to broker a deal. And two inmates disappear at the Missouri Correctional Center. Tonight the disturbing letter left behind and why the two men may not have escaped. This law cannot be equally applied across the state. So I think the law will eventually go into force. Hurry up and wait. Tonight why a St. Louis judge delays his ruling on the controversial concealed carry lawsuit. If I stand on my front porch, I can watch him play basketball. Tonight, neighbors react after two dangerous inmates disappear from a Missouri maximum security prison. We have agreed to meet uh, and uh, will meet. And our top story tonight, there appears to be a break in the ongoing grocery strike as both sides could soon be back at the bargaining table. This is News Channel 5 at 10. Good evening, and thanks for joining us at 10. It appears that negotiations could resume in the next day or two. Also tonight, a new voice enters the dispute, Governor Bob Holden. News Channel 5's Deanne Lane joins us live from South St. Louis County with the latest. Deanne? That's right, Karen and Mike. A major development tonight.